Hi, and welcome to the CogniScript demo. In this demo, we're going to be looking at applying the CM1K to the problem of handwritten digit recognition. And in this demo, we're actually going to allow you to draw your own digits using the canvas down here on the bottom left. In order to help with the recognition, we have uh, several different uh, pre-processing techniques that we've implemented. And to get started, let's go ahead and enable all three of these so that we can see what each one of them does. So now we can go ahead and draw a number to be recognized. And we do this just by clicking and holding the left mouse button. So I'm going to draw the number three over here. And as soon as you let go of the mouse, the Cognoscript demo is going to go ahead and attempt to recognize the number that you've drawn. So on the left, we see the pre-processed version of the number. And on the right is our best guess as to what number you drew using that pre-processing method. So the first pre-processing approach is the simplest. We're essentially just centering the digit that you drew within a square region, and then directly comparing this image against the examples in our stored knowledge base. Down at the bottom, we're applying some stretching to the image in order to uh, make it fit a square region. This gives it some invariance to changes in the position or the, maybe the width of the digit that you draw. Finally, we're applying the Haar transform, and this looks at image gradients. So it applies a horizontal gradient, a vertical gradient, and a diagonal gradient to extract some additional information. And we can see that the pre-processing really makes a difference in the quality of the results. So let's go through the detailed results provided on the right side of the demo so that you can understand the information that's being presented there. So the first field for each result is this segment ID. So the training set that we're using for this demo actually comes from uh, the famous handwritten digit data set from Jan LeCun. Um, it's called the MNIST data set, and if you uh, search the web for that, you should find it pretty quickly. Um, it contains about 60,000 training examples of the numbers 0 through 9, and that's what we're using. So because it's such a large data set, we've done a couple of things. First, we've we've selected a representative subset um, of that data set. And then because the Cognistix is limited to 1,024 neurons, we've divided that, in this case, into eight segments. So what we're going to do is uh, perform recognition on one segment, and then uh, get the results, load the next segment, perform recognition again, and then we're going to combine all those results at the end. So the way we're actually performing the recognition is with a K nearest neighbor search. And over here we can specify the K or the number of nearest neighbors that we want to um, search for. So you'll notice that we've selected the K of three. So for every segment, we have three results for a total of, uh, in this case, 24 results. So for each of these three results from the first segment, we can see the category of the neuron. Uh, in this case, they're all category three. And then the distance. So the distance is the L1 or Manhattan distance between um, the pre-processed input and this particular neuron. So once we've collected all 24 of these results, we need to aggregate them in some way. And the way we're doing that here is with a distance weighted voting function. So the weight is given by 1 over the distance. So for each result, we calculate 1 over the distance, and we add that, we add that weighted vote to a running score for that category. So for all the category 3 results, we would calculate 1 over the distance value and sum those all together. And then down at the bottom here, we can see uh, the, category, uh, the categories sorted by their score. So the highest score was for category 3 with a total of 10 hits. And remember, we, we're using a K of 3, but we're doing it across 8 segments. So there's actually a total of 24 hits here. So that about sums up the main features of the demo. Go ahead and try the other digits and see how well it performs on those. And thanks for watching. Have fun.